Hey there, I'm your host Lesoe, and this is part 13 of our inventory series. In the last episode, we covered our item filter, and in today's video, we'll be doing the item inspect. And with that said, let's begin. Let's start by going into our content drawer, and let's create a widget for our item inspect. So let's call it wb underscore item inspect. Now inside of here, we want to grab a canvas panel like so, and we'll complement it with a border. Now this will be our background border. So let's rename it to background and the anchors, make it full, set these to zero. And our brush color will be black with a opacity of 0.2. Next, we will grab a blur, background blur, Put that into your background and strength of three. Next, let's go ahead and grab another border, and this will be the outline for our item inspect and drop it into your canvas panel. We want to center it with an alignment of 0.5, oh, not a five, a 0.5 and a 0.5, and with a size on X 600 and size Y 900. Let's reset it then. And the brush color, I'll copy here from my notes and put it into here, like so. And we can save it as well. OK. Now, inside of this, I want to get an overlay. Drag that into your border. And let's give it an overlay padding of 10. And then inside here, we'll grab a size box. And we'll have two of them, one for the image and one for the text. Now for the bottom padding, we'll do 300 and let's fill it horizontally and vertically. For our second size box, uh, maybe it's a good idea to name it as well. Size box image and size box text. In here, the padding will be at the top 590 and let's fill it horizontally and vertically. Next, what we can do is grab ourselves the image, put it into our image size box, give it a proper name, img underscore item in spec. And for our second size box in here, we want to have two vertical boxes. So let's grab the first one. This will have a padding of 150 on the bottom. And let's make it, yeah, that's fine. On the second one, ah, yes. First, perhaps I need an overlay to fit both of them in. So let's get an overlay, put it inside of our size box, and let's get our vertical boxes. So our first one, fill it horizontally and vertically and make the padding at the bottom 150. And if you grab a second one, we can make this fill horizontally and the padding on top 150. Now you could rename these. This will be my vertical box info. And this bottom one will be for the long description. And yeah, that's pretty much fine now. And let's also add some text. So in our top one, Let's grab one, two, three, four texts. Let's select all of this and let's give it a font size of 18 should do. Now we want to select each one or let's select all of them anyway and make them all variable. The first one we want to be called txt underscore item name. Second one we want to call txt underscore item quantity third one we can do will be our item or txt underscore item rarity and our last one we can do txt underscore item category category there we go and at the bottom, I want one too, so I'll paste it in. 
and this will be our txt underscore description. So add in here whatever you need. Description. Okay. And yeah, we're good to compile and save. And let's go to the event graph. Inside of here, we will create a custom event, which will say set item details. And we want to promote or have access to our inventory component, which is of category BPC underscore object reference inventory. Now let's make this instance editable and exposed on spawn. Let's grab this, do get slots. And from here, what I want to do is I'll do a for each loop. Like so. And I will break this out and I'm going to check is our array element equal to our index, which we also need. So let's pass in our index integer instance editable and exposed on spawn. And let's do that. And if this is true, we'll go ahead. And on false, we'll do nothing. So if it is true, I'm going to get row and put in my data table row. And out of here, I'm going to break out. And what do we need? We need a name, description, image. We don't need a class. We don't need the effect. You can if you want. We don't need the sound effects. Rarity, category, and slot quantity can be included. And with that said, we don't need the slot quantity. We have our item quantity there. So let's do this in order. So let's open them up. We have name first. So text name. Set text like that. And I'm going to grab all of them. So we have name, description next. Copy, plug that in there. I need a few more. So we have our image. The image doo -doo 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 -doo, will have its own thing. Set brush from texture. And then our rarity text will have the same thing. And our category. And there we go. So in order to make this work, we'll do a format here and we'll do name double colon curly brackets a curly brackets and plug the name into a simple as that and have this in here next we are going to do our description so grab our description text there we are and do the same thing we're going to format this and instead of name, we'll have description, double colon, curly brackets, A, B, curly brackets. And plug that into B. And this should be in order. Okay. Next, let's have the image. So that's there. We'll do that like so. And that's all we need. No formatting necessary. Next, let's go ahead and do the rarity. So that's there. Steal that. Plug it in like so. And we'll do rarity, double colon, curly brackets, C, curly brackets. And in order to make this work, we need to do a enum to string. And then from here, we need to do text to string. And then we can plug it in into C. Connect that like so. And let's grab our item category. And the same thing goes here. We can copy that, paste it in, and plug it in. Oh, should also format it first, perhaps. And this will be our category. Double colon, curly brackets, D, curly brackets. And whoop, this should go there, looking good. And finally, we want to know the quantity 
So I had this open as the slot quantity, but that's actually our max stack size. So we want the item quantity to be passed in as the value there. And we have it, maybe a little reroute will make things a lot better. And there we go. So that's inf that information is now passed in. We just need to pass in our inventory component and our index. So let's go ahead, compile and save. Oops. What's the issue? Uh, ah, yes. This should be item quantity. And now it should let me compile and save. Next, let's go ahead and override an event called on preview mouse button down. So in here, we need to be able to close our widget. And to do so, we're going to see is mouse button down. And this can be either your left mouse button or both. I'll do both. Or you can even do a key if you wish to do so. I'll do a or boolean. And we'll do a branch. Log that in like so. Remove from parent. And this will go in there and will return as handled. Let's compile and save that. And lastly, let's go into our item prompt where we can pass in our values, item prompt. And on button inspect, on clicked, we shall get our index and our inventory component and do create widget. And this widget will be of type item inspect. Pass in your inventory component, your index. If you want, you can promote it to a variable. I don't see a point, so I'll just add to viewport. And with that, if we compile and save, and just before we test this, let's go ahead and open up our item inspect once again. We've created the set item details, but I forgot to implement it on our construct. So grab your event, set item details, connect it, compile and save, and we can now go this so let's collect some mushrooms some blocks and if we right click on this and inspect it there we go test item two we actually didn't even format our thing so at the very end we want to also do a format and let's change this to quantity uh, Double colon, curly brackets, E, curly brackets. And put that in there. And this in here. Compile and save. And this should be the final test. Inspect. There we go. Test item one, mystical, misc, and description non existent. What about our mushroom? There we go. Mushroom quantity one, uncommon, food, and restores 20 health. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And as always, happy developing.